thank you, Mamta, Jyoti, Mamta. So we're gonna go talking to one of my favorite and very beautiful actors, Shreya Saran. So I look forward to this time. Hi, Arch, Bell, Sushma, Bim Sarya, Romil Kathuria, Reens. So I hope the connection manages. Isha Bajaj, thank you so much for giving us this time. Vansal, Tanya. Tanya, how are you doing? You've given me so many tips about the workers, which I never actually, uh, you know, ended up following up on. So we're waiting for Shreya. Hi, Shreya. Waiting for you. And I hope I have sent you a request and I have accepted it. Hi, Pinky, my love. How are you? Thank you for joining in. Uh, Shreya, I, I'm waiting for you. It's showing me, waiting for me. Waiting for Shreya. Okay, so it's, uh, I, I've accepted the request. Can you, it's not come up. Okay. Mm. View. Go live, yeah. How are, <laughs> there's a lot of messages for Shreya. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hello. Hi. My God, I'm so scared to move now. I'm going to take off my glasses finally. Oh, there's so many cool people, our friends, people you know, Shreya, all are watching you. I'm sure there's nothing great I can say, but it's so nice to see you. Such a pleasure. It's so nice to, to be here with you. That's hey, Andre, thank you so much uh, for coming on. You've got, absolutely, you've got the hair. I mean, like us. <laughs> <laughs> He's got great hair. Yeah. Wow. Thanks a lot, my God. So how is Spain? How is Barcelona? It was really sad for a very long time, but now the, yeah. it, it's it's getting better now. Uh we're we're allowed to go out for long walks, which is brilliant. Um but yeah, it it it, it was crazy. I mean we were stuck in a in a house for 50 days, but I honestly feel that people like us who are stuck in the house, we really should not yeah. have anything to complain because there's yeah. so many people who are um, trying to get to their home. Um, wow, but at least you guys were together and in a, such a beautiful place. Yeah, there's nothing. I mean, it was tough, but it, I, I really don't think I have the right to complain. There's so many people I know, my friends are stuck in different I have houses. a right to complain. Only you have a right, no way, come on, you're a lucky guy. Look at the amount of followers out there who are dying to be in your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> My God, Andre, that's not a right one. <laughs> and you know, Shreya, there's one thing I must say, it's a stupid observation, but you, I always, you know, thought you have one of the best noses. You have a really fantastic nose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, there's no need for it to be powdered or tapered or anything. I got You're just blessed. Dad. They both yeah. Have Your parents all have great noses. <laughs> yeah. I'm so obsessed with nose. I mean, it's horrible. I'm sorry about that, but I love good noses. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I have a bulbous one, so I think I like it for that reason. I'm obsessed with eyes. I like people's eyes. Um, eyes? Wow. I, uh, that's the first thing I see in them. It's, it's really important for me to, to have a connection with people. Wow. So, yeah, of course. Yeah. So there we are making eye contact with each other. <laughs> wow. So please, I hope I didn't interrupt your, you know, family time or your walk time or your rituals of the, your patterns must have set in by now. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's fun. We get up, cook breakfast. Then we chill, have a very light lunch, an early dinner, because who's going to wash dishes twice? <laughs> oh, God, you do. So you haven't posted your pictures of washing dishes because, you know, people, uh, I know I saw Katrina Kef's. Uh, no, I, I made Andre do it. 
Oh, you, okay. So maybe Andre has got a lot of fan following, but yeah, that's a good. Yeah, it was actually funny because of all the posts, that one got the most likes because I said, you know, it's important that it's it's a partnership. It's not one person doing it. It's about we doing it. Yeah. And uh, the women loved it. It was just like one of the most. Yeah, one of the chores which you always imagine a poor woman, you know. Wow. So, so which one is you? What are you good at? You must be good at everything else other than looking gorgeous. I have uh, I've learned cooking. I I've started liking it a lot because I feel I I never thought it this way. But um, it's I mean when you when you're dealing with any vegetable or anything, yeah. you're respecting the farmer who's grown it. Uh, and I don't think cooking should be. it should be it should be a necessity that you that you're taught in school because there's so much you learn your patience level is yeah. yeah um and there's so much positive vibrations that you're giving it to food before you eat it because it's 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 so beautiful when you can just but i i you know you told me that you're into some kind of a more holistic uh school of like a kind of a yoga uh, which you practice every day Yeah probably that's where this is coming from Yes i mean uh, yoga um, helps it a lot because um the, uh, the kind of yoga i do here in spain it's amazing some of the teachers are so good here and back wow. home, I, learned, um, i used to learn from dipika mehta then sarva sarva yoga who does diva yoga so there's a lot of awareness about yoga i've been reading a lot of books on yoga um and it, it primarily teaches you about a way of life and uh, wow. it's yeah of course yeah it's the most miraculous science for all of us who can follow it so in this lockdowns you have a thing where you do practice every day like uh... yes i mean um i in india we i used to do a lot of breathing exercises but here i do uh, i get bored <laughs> but me and andre we do vipassana uh, which is a oh, you do vipassana vipassana you guys don't talk right No, so we Andre did it, and uh, it was really funny because when I was there in the course, we both were doing it, but we both could not talk to each other. Yeah. And uh, once. So a lot of pent up stuff to say to each other after the vipassana. It is in box, and I I was like, why is he sending me a medicine box? And so I opened it, and there was a little uh, note, and I still have it with me. It's a really cute note. Wow. Yeah. So love in vipassana was what took you here. Is that what it was? You guys uh, met at Vipassana. Vip- diving in Indian Ocean. Um, wow. Then, uh, accidentally, I was not supposed to meet him, and uh, yeah, Vipassana got us really together. We meditate every day, and it it creates a nice connection. I think it's yeah, a family which prays or meditates together stays together. It's yeah. a great way to be together. And I can see you guys. Are, you're like right now. He must be making you laugh somewhere. We should have more of Andre. I can. I feel him. I. I, I can't see him. I know. <laughs> I know he's somewhere there, probably laughing at us, like going at this, like polite. Mm. <laughs> I think two people fall in love because they they get married because they fall in love, obviously. But also, yeah, yeah. The important thing is that you have the same kind of stupidity. So we both have a similar sense of humor. We're same kind of stupid shit that we do or talk. So it's so what's like the stupidest go th- thing between the two of you like which is which gets both of you like what what's your main one laughing at each other well kicking kicking i know a lot of couples kick under the quilts <laughs> no it's really funny i mean we both is we both are stupid like he'll make a little funny sketch in the morning Which is this? Oh, how sweet! Like, He's a doodle artist. He doodles your funny faces. Yeah, and then yeah. So once I came back from India, and there were like little notes everywhere in the in the house. Like every cupboard had a note. So he's funny, but yeah, that's his way of showing love. Um, and I have. A and you are Shreya, laugh. the beauty. No, so my laugh is really funny. I laugh like this. <laughs> I have a really funny, stupid laugh. But that's your real laugh, because my real laugh. What I do is, I used to hate the way I looked. If my real, real laugh came out, so I formed a fake laugh. But I wasn't really, really laughing. You, you, your laugh is great. No, so initially when I started yeah. acting, they said, "How can an actress laugh like that? You should yeah. not laugh like that." And I'm like, I yeah. for a while I followed it, but 
after i met anjali i'm like no i'm going to love the way i love because that's who I yeah am. because it will come through in the eyes or look fake and like pretend <laughs> and now with everybody having hit tiktok i mean more or less the guys who are you know so now everybody oh, where does that leave you i mean actors like yourself don't you get a, like a bombardment of these really funny Uh, TikTok videos we get like in our groups every morning. Do you get them from Mumbai? They're really, really wicked. Yeah, I think that's. I think it was a whole um, cycle. The first cycle when they told us that you're you're just stuck at home, then you're like, "Ha, the ugly mahine." When it gets over, we'll go for this restaurant, and then you start sending funny jokes to each other. Yeah. And then you start cooking, and then you're trying to figure out. But what was the second mahine? It doesn't open. Then you're like, "Shit, yeah. I get home." By now, I think we've all resigned ourselves to this fate. Yeah, then you and realize maybe this is the new reality, and you go in that. This is exactly what I said. New reality. That's okay. I'll be too. Hey, hey. We're gonna enjoy. I want to ask you a very important question: Is that you've been in the fashion for so long, and I've, I mean, I've, I've grown up. I've lived a large part of my life in Delhi. I was learning dance from Shobhana Narayan, Deepis Mathur, Road, Elisa, and. You were like, I mean, even there, you were like this big name. And no, that's because I was your size then, and I didn't realize it. No. I was so busy being hyper all the time, like running constantly, chasing some tail. Where, no. what for? No. So what I'm asking you is that, how has fashion for you evolved from then to now? I mean, oh, yeah, fashion's grown totally. Did you have Zara in India then? We used to go to Sirojini Nagar to make digs, and I made these trousers. And I remember Sabha Khalili was a model then. I don't know if you recall because you you were so young, and we they were shown at Miss India, and they were sheer like crocheted sheer, and then we put like bikini pants because thongs and all hadn't come out, and uh, I and and the reactions of that audience they were gasping, and then I know some of these girls took the pants and they wore them to this. I forgot the name of that club in Bombay. I think it was called China Club or something. It was where Om Chambers was. You remember what it was? You couldn't have been like I you must have been. I think it was not that old. China Club is uh, like not nineteen, like nineteen hundred or pre nineteen hundred days. Pre and it was fire and ice, I think, because I was yeah the- somewhere where they all wore it, and so they became like these. I ball cat grabbers, and I would hear about it in Delhi. Those were the n- no mobile phone era, and uh, but today you guys are wearing it. It's normal. It's normal to see sheer tops, and uh, you know I did a, a plus size audition. I remember for a show I was doing. It was quite acceptable even amongst them. I said, "Look, I have really come a long way because what is normal today." Was considered bizarre, and I got myself so many nicknames like you're talking about. But, but anyway, but it was but fun. The photo shoots that they did before, they were like, "I yeah. can film me of fashion," and now everything is fused in. It's not yeah. film me. It's like fashion, super fashion, or in yeah. fashion. So even that's yeah. Really what? Uh, from like. Crazy red lipstick to like a red jacket. Also, our makeup, makeup has changed so much. We were yes. so cakey at some point. I mean, yeah. I mean, now in your movies and all, you're not so cakey. No, I mean, I used to wear horrible makeup when I started acting, but also before the lights were very different, and then the kind of flow lights, yeah. and then yeah. everything is digital. Before, you know, we were changing the 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 reel uh, after every four shots or five shots. So that's changed a lot the the makeup because the lights very different now. Yeah. Um, but just like it's it's amazing how fashion has evolved and 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 grown. I mean. But today fashion is go is needing total saving. Fashion is not going to be the same. It's the one of the like tourism a big and it's an industry which is completely hit. And yeah, so but- much of uh, fashion is going to really have to find modes. You know, like you said, breathable. you know you're aware of your food so this kind of a consciousness which we as designers will have to work with the artisans to bring which means slow down the pace yet keep the price points right and reconvert more you know a leisure more relaxed form of fashion because so, i think somewhere before 